Did you just hear the switch she did? Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia. And today, for the very first time ever, I've never listened to this group before, I'm going to be reacting to the band Nightwish with vocalist Floor Jansen singing Ghost Love Score. Let's do this. I feel like I got dropped into like Middle Earth, getting ready for a battle in Lord of the Rings. And then suddenly Furiosa from Mad Max is like just ripped around the corner. She's like, come with me, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> oh God, I'm so weird. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so there's a special place in my soul for things that are epic and then melodious at the same time. It just hits something inside. Anyway, voice, voice type. I was not expecting it. She's got the space and the vowel work. Her phrasing is stunning. It's, there's just something, it's like, it's so uplifting because you have the, the epicness of the music underneath it. And then you have these soaring free vocals her voice is so free it is so free anyway we're just gonna mm.
I love the amount of space that they're leaving in this arrangement. It's really, really cool. Okay, so she went from a predominantly length and a dominant sound in her second register with, uh, well, it was like a light mix, but it had majority, like, thin fold coordination, and now she's just hamming it in with the contemporary sound. Talk about versatile, dang. I have lost The switch she did started off with more along your lines of your classical vowel, and then on bring it became contemporary, and then on the way back. I just want to double check. It's exactly what I thought she did. On the bring, she made more of a contemporary forward, really resonant kind of sound, whereas all the other vowels were very uh, spacious, tall, classical setup. I'm gonna keep using the word classical because it's the closest that I can refer to that other people might be familiar with. She just, one word, she flipped it and took it back. Oh, goodness. And then there's more, this ah quality to the sound now, it's just, Gives that little boost of power. You got the contemporary sound coming through. A little bit of a uh, tiny little bit of distortion on the sound, but not too much. Notice how her haze weren't just from the throat, there was a lot of resonance on them. It's more like a call.
Okay, so here how that note there doesn't have quite the same brightness as what she used before. That's a, that's a different part of her vocal technique that she's using there. What am I talking about? You guys probably already noticed that. Epic. I'd say effing epic, but I'm trying real hard not to swear on my channel. <sighs> Being at that concert in that atmosphere must be almost like an elevation. I get the same feeling from this kind of music that I do from really, really good musical scores, really good movie scoring. I love the addition of the uh, symphony orchestral sounds, the choral singers. It just everything. They're not just making music. They are building a sound experience. And that must just be amazing to be in that crowd watching that. And her as a vocalist, oh my God, versatile. So versatile. And all of her technique is so solid as well. Her belting technique. <laughs> that one there, it's a mixed belt. Whereas in her earlier belts, there's a little bit more mass to the sound. But that belt at the end there, if she didn't have the uh, strength in her second register, this kind of mixed belting is, is hard to stabilize. Let's see if her abs engage onto that note. Also her breath control. Insane. So good. So, so, so good. Yes. Okay. So you see a little bit of the belly button tucking in. Yes. So you see after the breath, everything immediately went whoop. She's not lazy on her support. She breathed, immediately back on. Nice. And it happens so fast, you might not even notice it. She's good. She real good. She better than good. Dang. The different kinds of voices that she used, the level of appropriateness with the music that's going on behind her. I can understand every word that she's singing. I really love how this song was able to include so many different vocal elements for her to play with and demonstrate to such a high level. I also really, really enjoyed how at the end she... Uh, put her hands up to the drummer. Cause I've seen what drummers are like at the end of an intense piece of music. It's just sweat city. <laughs> he had to keep that up for most of it. There was that little bit in the middle that was uh, a bit of chill, but for the most part, that drummer was going the entire time. That was amazing. I don't know what else I want to say. Like if any piece of music was to be called ghost love score, it should be this one, epic epic. Anyways, guys, that is it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you did, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it, and you'll see more just like this one, I'm sure, at some point in the future, because dang, I need, I need to listen to more of Flor Jensen. That is, she made it sound so easy. That's when you know they're good, <laughs> when they sing tricky stuff and make it sound easy. Anyways, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye!